sky, wars, and rumors of wars. I tell you, before it comes, that when they come to pass, you may believe that I am you. Return unto me. And I will return unto you. Return unto you. Repent. 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 Behold, I come quickly. Good day and grace unto you. Many of you know me, but for those of you who don't, I am Ambassador Chantrell Davis of Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo Ministry. Welcome to Roar of the Ruach. The focus of this broadcast is Kingdom Watchings, A Call for Repentance, Warning, Rebuke, Prophetic News and Updates, Sounding the Alarm of Judgment and of the Sword. Warning the wicked, according to Ezekiel 33, 7 through 9, and warning the righteous, according to Ezekiel 3 and 20. Indeed, the Ruach is ruined. So stop, turn back, for the time of no remedy is fast approaching, and for some, it is already upon them. Let's get into today's information. Good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me again today on Roar of the Ruach. This is Ambassador Chantro Davis of Preach Be a Voice, Not an Echo. Today is November the 3rd of 2017, and it is 4.44 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm going to get right into this because we are, we are proving that we have a Father in God who shows and reveals all things to us. And this one is kind of a sad one for me because I know, you have no idea the things he's shown me. Uh, will come to the kids. And, and what y'all, most of y'all don't understand is sometimes I experience some of them being raped. I experience what they feel. It is not fun. Okay? Um, uh, that the Lord gave this word not too long ago and it is happening quickly, but I'm led to do this video now because it is fulfilled and fulfilling. This is how the Lord has communicated with me. The Lord spoke that I would know where he was and he would speak to, to me so that I knew where he was and what he's doing right now. Um, that this word is fulfilled and fulfilling because I'm telling y'all, you got to pray. This is going to get worse. Y'all ain't seen nothing. Please pray over the children. Please pray over these infants. It is about drawing gross darkness. That is why they're killing them younger and younger because the darkness is thick because of it. It's innocent and they're young. So it's a greater darkness. Proverbs 29 and 18, where there is no vision, the people perish. Second Chronicles 36 and 16, but they mocked the messengers of God and they despised his words until the wrath of the Lord arose, until there was no remedy. I keep saying this and I'm going to say it again. This is where many are and this is where this place is reaching. They're mocking us. And when his wrath arises, there is no remedy. I will say again, what does no remedy mean? That means their ability to say, okay, Lord. And make it right, it's gone. You can't stop the wrath. That's the no remedy. You get to the point and say, okay, Lord, we stop. No, no remedy means your ability to make it right is gone. Okay? His wrath going to hit you. And if you survive it, then you can turn. But nothing's going to stop the wrath. That's the point of no remedy. 1 John 4, verse 6. He that knoweth God heareth us. Those who know God hear us. OK, so anybody just mocking you and so quick to tell you you false. You, yeah, they might need to check to whom they belong. He that is not of God heareth us not. John 13 and 19. Now I tell you before it come that when it, it, it come to pass, you may believe that I am he. OK, no one can prophesy what is to come. And what speaks life, because prophesying is not only to foretell, but to tell forth, but the word of God. But Christ, our Lord, Jesus, Yahshua HaMashiach. 
When you see a sword coming up on the land, you are to warn. That's what I'm doing today. According to Ezekiel 33, 1 through 4, I said it once, I will say it again. If you have the Holy Spirit, you can operate in any gift he chooses to put you in at that moment. You may teach, you may exhort, you may get a word of knowledge, you may warn, you will do it all. That's why in obedience, like the word of God tells us, we are ambassadors. He is not in a box. Don't put him in a box on how he uses you because other people are too afraid to be used in various capacities. Open yourself to be used in every way he would use you and just say, yes, Lord, here I am. Send me and he will. And you will see you're not limited to not one spiritual gift. I will say it once and I'll say it again. The gift that the Bible speaks of is the Holy Spirit. He is the gift that imparts gifts. Okay. Get that in your head. It's important. This is a noun word. Vision was given 10, 8 of 2017, not too long ago, warning toddlers and infants taken and harmed. And the, the spirit put in me, this is by wicked sacrifice, wicked sacrifice. People don't understand. They know people who have opened themselves by living demonically, looking at anything on TV. They haven't cleaned anything out of them. A demon can inhabit them in a second and overcome them, and they will commit a deed up on a kid, and then that demon done. He done done what he meant to do, take that baby. Y'all need to understand what y'all dealing with. This message was delivered 10-8 of 2017 by Preach Bill Voice Not an Echo. This is the art that uh, I was led to give. Infants and toddlers taken. Warning. Watch and pray. The innocent. They're after them. Why? I told you before. Gross darkness. The more innocent, the more darkness. They are loosened darkness so that the man of perdition can come. That Satan, his fallen ones, the strong delusion, they need a dark environment. And you can't get no darker than innocent blood. Psalms 127 and 3. Behold, children are a heritage and a gift from the Lord. The fruit of the wound is a reward. Children are a gift. The Bible says such is the kingdom of heaven. I don't care how that baby came. Even if you made a mistake and got it out of wedlock, they belong to God. Clean it up, but they still belong to the Lord. 2 Timothy 3 verse 1. Difficult times will come. But understand this, that in the last days, dangerous times of great stress and trouble. We're only seeing the beginning of it, y'all. You ain't seen nothing. I can't stress this enough. Bodies in the street. People eating people, eating their kids, sacrificing. I, I know what he's shown me. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Trouble will come. Difficult days that will be hard to bear. He's telling you they're going to be hard to bear. You will only be able to bear it by the spirit. Yes, there will be a rapture, but we will not get out of here before we see some of this. Make no mistake about that. Okay? 2 Timothy 3 and 2. For people will be lovers of themselves, narcissists, hello, self-focused, oh, me, 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 me. Some people sing an opera, me, 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 me. They so full of themselves, I don't know how they eat. Lovers of money, impelled for greed, boastful, arrogant, revilers, disobedient to parents. Look around. The kids think they run the house. Don't even get me started because I don't play. I don't do no disrespect for kids. Ungrateful, unholy, profane. And they will be unloving, devoid of natural, here you go, devoid of natural human affection, calloused and inhumane. And y'all gonna see what I mean by some of these stories. They were uh, devoid of natural affection, calloused and inhumane, irreconcilable, malicious gossips, mm. devoid of self control. Hello? Pay attention to these words I'm saying right now. They're going to mean what? Well, just these few stories I'm giving because I know there's more. Inter interpreted, immoral, brutal, haters of good. Y'all, everyone who knows, knows this is going on, okay? Second Timothy. Traitors, reckless, conceited, lovers of sensual pleasures rather than lovers of God. Sensual pleasures, what is that? Everything that satisfies the senses. Taste, taste touch, feel. Everything that's pleasurable of the world. Holding to a form of outward godliness. This is telling you he's talking to the so-called saved people too. 
although they have denied its power. So if you wanted them to just say you saved and you ain't looking for the power of the Holy Spirit to move in and through you, hmm, although they have denied the power, for their conduct nullifies their claim of faith. Hello? Your conduct nullifies your claim of faith. Avoid such people and keep far away from them. And the Lord said, if you see people who say they his and they acting like this too, avoid them. And don't you have no part with them. You mark them and separate from them. Because they, them are, them are false brethren in the world. Okay? So a whole lot of them on YouTube. A whole lot of them on your page. Second Timothy, this is amplified. For among them are those who uh, worn their way in homes. They worm their way into homes and they kept and they captivate morally weak and spiritually dewarred women weighed down by the burden of their sins. They weighed down by the burden of their sins. So people who are already beat down, they take in and they overcome them. Sins easily swayed by various impulses, always learning and listening to anybody. Huh? That's a whole other message. Let me stay on course. Who would teach them, but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. See, people hate women or people who come to the knowledge of the truth. You study for yourself. You draw close to God so he draw near to you. You become a person who dwells in his presence that he able to teach you, that you're able to hear his voice. Then you, you get ejected and rejected. But that's okay. If you got God, you got everybody. You got everything. Let's do the first story. I just, I just did like two or three of these because uh, this is kind of hard. An uh, infant child, woman found naked, covered in white powder. A baby dies. And this is October the 20th. As you can see, it was very, not even days after I recorded this message. And the Lord had me to start compiling it then. Uh, because it's going to keep going, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm telling y'all, please pray. Y'all going to see more babies and toddlers come up dead in ways that's going to break your heart. It is a form of sacrifice. The demons are going to inhabit these people to do what they need to do and darkness will be released. That's why people can't afford not to clean their flesh, not to clean their homes, not to surrender totally to the Lord. They can't dabble back and forth with the earth and with the world because that darkness that they're letting them in, that's why he said, if the light in you be darkness, how great is that darkness? People who think they can live like the world and do whatever they want and dabble back and forth with these dark arts and look at these award shows that got all these initiations going on stage and cult, and then that darkness is in you so a demon can jump on you at any time and you're going to do what that demon will at that moment and they're, gonna, they, they're killing these children because it is a form of sacrifice. Okay, this was in Los Angeles um, uh, that an infant was found dead and an eight-year-old girl uh, and an eight-year-old girl and a woman. Okay, it's an eight-year-old girl, but an infant was dead, covered in white powder in the parking lot. Okay, baby covered in powder. This was just another uh, article that I found about a two-month-old baby covered in powder found in the uh, in, in the middle of a parking lot. This is October 19th at 11.40 a.m. Police are investigating the death of a two-month-old baby after she and two other people were found nude, unconscious, and covered in white powder in the parking lot. Y'all paying attention to this? All of them nude and all of them covered in white powder naked in the parking lot. Y'all think it wasn't some violation of some sex and rituals? Let me tell y'all, bear worship is how all to do with sex. That's why all the arcs look like penises and the monuments look like penises. The bell is a sex worship, okay? Among sacrificing of babies. Here's another one. A man accused of raping. Okay? This is void of natural affection and callous. Man accused of raping and killing. Look at the age. A 13-month-old girl. He killed her by raping her. Okay? Pray for your kids. They are sacrificing them to Baal. These people are demonically influenced and overtaken and the killing of these children is a sacrifice because this is what the Lord informed me of. This is what the spirit gave me knowledge of through a vision as he showed me the vision that it would be sacrifice. According to the police, this is the same article, a girdle was wanted for rape and death of Serenity Jaslyn Sky Blankenship Subtle. She's got a long name. I mean the baby. We know she's in heaven. But this no no baby should die like this, okay? The police were called to a home on Clark Street earlier this month and found Serenity in cardiac arrest. She was in car dear God. The child was rushed to University Hospital for treatment, but she died. She got raped and her heart stopped. Can you imagine? Her womb is not designed to take a man. 
And this is a man that is a demon possessed man. So we know it was brutal. He wasn't gentle. The coroner says she died of blunt force trauma to her head. Okay, and this is in Ohio. After nearly a month on the run, police in Pennsylvania have catch up Joshua Girdle overnight. He ran for a month for uh, murdering, raping and murdering a 13-month-old baby girl. Uh, Girdle was 37. I, I couldn't care less, Lord. I, I'm going to leave that alone because I know he'll forgive anybody, but my heart ain't there right now. Okay? Um, please pray over the kids. I'm telling y'all, this is fulfilled and fulfilling. I will continue to say it because it is by the spirit. I don't care what anyone thinks. I obey the Lord. Who art thou that judges another man's servant? You don't know what he has spoken to me. This is fulfilled and fulfilling because it's going to continue, y'all. Please, not only pray over your kids, get up and intercede for other people. Some people don't have spiritual parents that pray. And because you pray in the spirit and you intercede, you're going to save other people's kids. Please, don't just pray for your own kids. Pray for everyone's. Psalms 106.37. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils. This is a form of sacrifice, okay? And because they yielded their body to the enemy, he has his way with it, with the demonic forces. You can't reason with wickedness. You can't open the door to darkness and then think he can't overcome you when he will. You can't cast him out when you've opened the door to him. Psalms 106.37. And shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. This land is polluted with blood. Not only the demonic people who are killing their children and raping their kids in homes and allowing their kids to die, uh, but the constant abortions that have gone forth. Okay? This is creating darkness like I couldn't even imagine. Psalms 106, 37, verse 40. Therefore... Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against the people in so much that he abhorred his own inheritance, his own inheritance, because people are his inheritance and you're killing his children. How are you killing them? Those that you dabbling in dark and darkness and think the demon can't overcome you. When you have darkness in you, they can do what they want. You can't eject the enemy when you're carrying his baby, so to speak. Here's another one. Callous and cruel. What did the scripture say? A forensic entomologist determined that the baby hadn't hadn't had a diaper change or a bath and had been in the same seat for more than a week. You know what? I'm going to tell y'all right now. Infant found severely underweight and infested with maggots. Y'all don't think that's cruel? That was more than a week. That baby was chef and his flesh was being gnawed off by, by anybody know that has had a baby know what fecal matter and urine does to a baby's skin if you don't get it off. And maggots only show up on flesh when it's starting to break down. They may get on the poop, but they won't get on flesh till it breaks down. Vision. 10, 18, 17. Warning. Toddlers and infants taken and harmed. Wicked sacrifice. Plotted. Stay watchful. Stay prayerful. It is not finished. Okay? Pray over these kids. Because there are more articles. Two-year-old, a three-year-old that was left in the yard. I could do some more, but this is enough. Pray over these kids. I'm warning the wicked, according to Ezekiel 33, 7 through 9. I'm warning the righteous this day again, according to Ezekiel 3 and 20. Those of you who are straddling the fence, those of you who have forsaken the Lord your God, those of you who are living like the world but say you belong to him, you have forsaken him. Return, 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 repent. The Lord God says your own wickedness will correct you. Your own backslidings will repu reprove you. Jeremiah 2 and 19. Thy own wickedness will correct you. Your own backslidings will reprove you. That the, uh, reprove thee. Know therefore and see that it is an evil thing and bitter that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God and that my fear is not in thee. So if you say that you belong to him and you're dabbling with the world back and forth, doing everything they do, watching what they watch, the fruit of God is not in you. You are forsaken. Turn back. I'm warning you this day. The Lord says, return unto me and I will return unto you. Acts 13 and 19 says, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. For the Lord is not willing for any to perish, but all to come to repentance. So you have a choice this day. You can choose the free gift to come to him. And surrender your life to him that he can begin to clean you up. You can't clean yourself up. You need to cry out now because there's some things about to happen in this land. 
It comes that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Verse 21, it shall come to pass that whosoever, whosoever, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. That's the, all I have for you today. This is a word from the Lord. He does reveal things to his servants, the prophets, and, and uh, prophets, his servants, his sons, his daughters, his handmaidens uh, shall dream dreams and they shall prophesy. They shall see visions. We already know what the word of God has told us. Um, we need to continue to pray over these kids. I'm telling y'all, this is not over. This is just beginning. Y'all have no idea. This is just beginning. It's going to get so much worse. It's going to be hard to birth. Not only pray over your kids, pray for other people's kids. Don't be selfish. Pray for everyone's kids. You are a saint of God. Then you are responsible to pray for the people that don't know too. That's all I have for you. This is Ambassador Chantrell Davis on an update on infants and toddlers. Stay watchful and stay prayerful. Grace be with you and I love you all. Well, that's all we have for you today. But in closing, brothers and sisters, we are in the last days. Remember the word of God warns, behold, I'm against you, almost proud. So return unto the Lord and he'll return unto you. Now is the time of your salvation. Choose this day who you will serve. Life and death has been set before you. Choose life that you may live. And I want all watching to know, the Lord is not willing that any should perish, but he is desiring for everyone to come to repentance. So repent, call upon the name of Jesus, who is Christ our Lord. Be ye reconciled that you might be saved. This is Ambassador Chantro Davis announcing the coming of the glorious kingdom of God. Let the Lord be magnified. Again, thank you for joining me today on Roar of the Ruach. Until next time, stay watchful and stay prayerful.